Okay, welcome back to I guess Summer of Speed episode two. Um, I didn't have anything planned, but I figured I'd do this because it's another high intensity, lower body session with speed swings. So it'll be one that's sort of good to follow along for speed work. It's more, I don't know, it's more what people are looking for, not so much the general strength circuit I posted last time. So uh, currently editing, I don't know if we can see this, the video with Dana uh, I did last. Today we've got heavy speed swings, so I'll go through my warm up, uh, which I won't film again because it's it's difficult, but it is linked on the Next Gear Golf Instagram page. Like there is the full warm up. You'd have to track down. Maybe I'll go find it and pin it to the top. Um, but it's all there. Um, I go through that entire Next Gear small space warm up. Um, then I'll do some some of the specific warm up stuff for the speed work, which I will film. And then I go through heavy lower body work. Um, I think I do contrast jumps, deadlifts, and then a couple lower body uh, single limb work and hip extension work. I can't remember, maybe some abs, I can't remember. But that's it. Uh, so if we get into it, next time you see me, we'll be doing some warm ups with the uh, speed work. Okay, so I sped this video up. Um, it's my warm up pre speed work. Now I've already done the elliptical and I've already done a dynamic warm up. So really I'm pretty warm, but here I've got the heaviest Mach 3 speed bomber that is made. I'm just doing some backswing throws, both in the dominant and non-dominant side. Now I love this because the heavy weight gets everything sort of moving to a large degree. I kind of keep things pretty continuous and pretty flowy to make sure the body heats up even more and feels like you're heating things up in a specific pattern, which is the, sort of like a golf swing pattern. You can see me do the backswing throws and I kind of move into just swinging it around my body. All I'm trying to do is get rotation going, get the hips going, the rib cage, thoracic spine, shoulders. And then I take it from here and I move to the heaviest load you can get on the stack system. So that's like 512 grams. So still pretty heavy. Um, again, here I'm gonna do more of like a actual golf swing. And I'm kind of ramping from say 60, 70% effort up to 80, 80 ish percent, 90 uh, ish percent. And you can see me say, start to fall over a little bit. I do both sides. Again, the, the non-dominant stuff is just to get hot. Like it's nothing special. I'm just kind of doing it. Then we move into the actual work. Four sets of six swings with the golf slingshot at 396 grams, with his, which is 20% heavier than my gamer driver. Now, the goal today is to just move that weight as best I can. Um, today wasn't as good, which I'll talk about later, but it is coming along quite nicely after some technical work with Dana. So pretty happy here. You can see my foot slip there, so I reset. But uh, again, just focused on swinging it you know, pretty fast. Always have a good swing in mind. I'm not just trying to go all out regardless of technique. Okay, so back in from the jumps, uh, or excuse me, back in from the swings, which were mediocre. You know, Considering the, I trained, took the yesterday off, but trained the two days prior, body's not fully recovered. So not bad. Um, those swings with really heavy weight. So 396 grams is, I don't know, 20, 30 grams heavier than the heaviest super speed stick. To give you reference, it's, it's a heavy stick. Um, in here now to do contrast jumps, heavy jumps followed by body weight jumps. Um, the idea is to create as much power as possible. Uh, with the heavy weight, you still want to attack the free fall, the unweighting, the downward motion of the jump. Because if you can free fall and slam on the brakes, really ramps up braking forces similar to a golf swing or similar to the muscle contraction types you see in a lower body in the golf swing. So i um, gonna get after this, only a few sets, three sets of heavy, three sets of body weight, uh, take some rest and go again. So we'll see how we do. Okay, so done with the jumps. They went all right. Um, now I'm on to deadlifts. Now I haven't deadlifted in a very long time, but if you wanna say that we went from full speed with the golf swings or the speed stick um, slingshot 
to explosive strength with the jumps. Now this is like maximal strength or grinding strength. Now, so essentially we're surfing the force time curve, um, load velocity, whatever you want to call it. I haven't done deadlifts in a very long time, so I've made, I'm gonna make two modifications to make things a bit easier on myself. One, I've got the barbell on pins a little bit off the ground, so that the range of motion's a bit smaller. Um, makes it easier on me to get in position, maintain position. But since I've done that, it technically makes the uh, lift easier, so it makes it where I could lift more weight. So to negate that, I'm gonna go a double overhand grip. Uh, hook grip is when you hook the, hook the thumb in the bar, gives you stronger grip. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm basically gonna limit the amount I can lift by just double overhanding, no straps, no uh, hook grip, like over under, gives you a stronger grip. Um, so those two things should help keep me a little bit safe, let me get acclimated, uh, make progress, but not do anything silly just yet. Okay, so first set, uh, 100 kilos, right? 220, something like that. Um, pretty easy, but I'm gonna keep it as my first set. I'm not gonna adjust, but I did add 20 kilos. Uh, for the second set, I'm only doing two sets of five to six reps uh, with a two RIR, so two reps in reserve. Uh, that first set was probably like five, but again, it's gonna feel like it's a novel exercise for me essentially. So I'm gonna get benefits from it. I'd rather keep the easy set in rather than do too much today and like burn out or, or have a problem. So that'll be the first set. We'll do one more set with 120 kilos and then we'll go on from there. All right, so better overall. Um, grip felt a little bit of the work at the end, so pretty good weight, pretty happy with that. Um, on to like the accessory work. Okay, so now we've got the single limb stuff. Um, couple sets, higher reps, um, two to three reps in reserve, so it shouldn't be killing me. Uh, single leg activity, quad dominant, knee dominant, and then a, I'm gonna do a bilateral hip dominant or glute dominant, glute hamstring. So we got rear foot elevated split squats and glute bridges. I'm not gonna use anything heavy. I'm not gonna try and kill myself. Just gonna do some decent work. Woo. So 40 pound dumbbells in each hand, eight reps. I might be undershooting my R R I R, but that's okay for now. So, like I said in a, a recent uh, Be Better Golf video. It's more about doing things well over the long term rather than trying to do too much too soon and then kind of burning out, getting hurt, or just being so sore that you don't want to keep coming back. So <laughs> undershooting a little bit of weight, having a little bit left in the tank muscular wise, so like I won't be as sore. I'm out of breath, you can tell. But I should be I should keep motivation to hit golf balls, to do my speed work, to get back in. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm so sore and stiff, I can't swing, I can't play, um, and generally sort of unhappy with the training because you're more likely to stop than the progress is likely to be really poor. Okay, so this would be one you see a lot of, 
probably bought on the internet. Just a barbell. Oh, I just don't have much room here. Uh, just enough room. All right, so just a light barbell bridge. Care more about doing it well than anything else. I need more room. This, is, this place is so small. But just some glute hip extension work, uh, isolated and joint friendly. Okay, so that's the whole lower body high intensity session for the week, or session two, I should say. Um, overall good. Remember that the dynamic warm up, <clears throat> the dynamic warm up wasn't shown, but there is a link on our Next Gear Golf Instagram account where it's fully written out and sort of sped through in video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, objectives, surf the force time curve or force velocity curve, starting from high speeds, low weights, kind of heavy, slightly heavier weights, slightly slower speeds, heavy weight, slow speed. Then you get into your accessory work, single limb, uh, more isolated movements, less complex, less coordinated. Um, more for just like general fitness and general muscular development. I'm trying to think. Uh, remember, biggest takeaway, if you looked at most of the weights, they almost all moved pretty darn easy. Um, the jumps were quite challenging because I'm trying so hard to move quickly. Uh, therefore, they look a little sluggish at times because I'm trying to basically bury myself in the, the descent and then slam the brakes so the muscles have to work very hard. Um, Always leave room for training tomorrow. Don't think that just because you're excited about training for speed right now that you can make all of your progress today. It's more about keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself sort of mentally fresh so that you're always ready to come back and train again and excited to some degree, um, but never feel like you're so sore, you're so stiff. You've done so much that you can't continue training. That's probably the biggest mistake I see most people make and it's how people get hurt, it's how people burn out, and it's how they start blaming things like speed work is bad and squatting is bad. Um, usually they just did too much too soon or they did it with really poor form. Uh, all right, next time we will be doing, maybe I'll switch it up to like an upper body day or something, I don't know. But that was the lower body intensive day.